most isolated city in the world and we are aware of what's happening in Brazil now and we are supporting Brazilians over there. In Brazil everybody's getting together, going to the streets and um, protesting until the Brazil change. We send our support for our people, for our country, for a better country for our family and for eventually our kids. Uh, it started when Brazil, um, um, in Sao Paulo, they raised the bus, um, the bus ticket for 20 cents, but everyone um, went to the street, 20,000 people went to the street to protest, and the police uh, acted aggressive and started shooting rubber bullets in the Brazilians, and that was what everyone got angry about. And then everybody got to the streets and more people got together and soon uh, it wasn't all about the 20 cents, but yes, yeah, about all the problems in Brazil. Yeah, we not agree with a lot of things going on with Brazil at the moment, with all the gas, with all the politicians, with everything. Although we are far away, very far away from Brazil, we are supporting the people in the streets there and um, giving our support. Well, I'm here as an Australian just to support people in Brazil. Finally, we are fighting against the corruption and all the stealing and they are wasting our money in the World Cup. And okay, we can do a World Cup, but we have to invest in the education, in the health system. We're not against the World Cup, definitely not, but we want to change. And if you have to stop the World Cup, we will. Because if we can have the World, the World Cup and the Olympic Games, why, why, don't, why can't we have more, more hospitals, more education? And for Brazilian people, that's something new, no? We've always been uh, known as a party people and soccer people, and not never as people that are uh, trying to get their, their rights, you know? So that's the first time, and that makes us here feel very proud. We're not going to stop until we have that change. This was just the beginning, but we are fighting for much more, many more things and bigger, bigger things.